Hello guys, it's Ryker Mena. So I'm doing a recap for the Champions, the CONCACAF Champions League. That's the North American uh, Champions League uh, between Liga MX, um, MLS, uh, teams from the Caribbean, and uh, Central American teams. And uh, so far, man, round of 16, uh, a lot of goals so far, man. And uh, MLS teams has been mixed result for MLS teams, man. Uh, they, there's, like, there's like, what, four MLS teams in general. In the tournament and um yeah they, they lost and win games man same with uh league mx it's like four league mx team and it, they, they like two for two lost two and one two and uh it's been crazy it's been crazy man uh very surprised by some of these teams from south america from central america they've been holding up very good versus like top team from mls and um and league mx so we're gonna start out with the first game uh cd marathon versus sorry um deportivo saprias versus tigres um the first game of the tournament and that game ended in a 1-0 win for uh saprissa man saprissa um they from costa rica I man they were at home and uh they were able to beat uh tigres man tigres feel a very good team the only play that tigres was missing was uh gignat man so great win for them uh 1-0 at home on the the away game should be t very tough man i think tigre should be able to come back and win their away game at least 2-1 or yeah, i say 2-0 1-0 man uh, i say 2-0 they should come back and win this game big man because they have the talent they have the the um the ability they have a very good coach and they have a very good team all around man when it comes to like money spent on teams tigre is probably one of the best team in the in the tournament so far they're the favorite for uh, they should be the favorite man, but they're not playing like they're their favorite right now. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, Saprissa won it 1 0, so good win for them. Uh, next game we have Independiente, Dale, Torreira versus uh, Toronto. Um, I believe this team is from like Honduras, man. Um, sorry, Dominican Republic. Uh, that's where I believe this team from. Correct me if I'm wrong, let me know where this team is from. Uh, either that or Honduras. They beat um Toronto. I believe this is the first time they they feature in this tournament. They were able to beat Toronto, man. Uh, last year Toronto went to the final. Toronto had been like a very good team in MLS over the past year. Went to MLS uh final like two times in a row, um like two years ago, and uh, won it one time. And they've been like the best team in Canada in general. And to them to lose four zero. I know they lost out uh, Giovinco. Sebastian uh, Giovinco, man, but to lose 4 0 on the road to this team that just making their debut in the tournament is a shameful. It's just like crazy and probably should never happen, man. But um, I don't think I don't see Toronto coming back in this tournament. I don't see them winning the game uh, 4 5 0 or 6 0 at, at, uh, in Toronto, man. So I think Toronto are out of it. But shout out to um, Independiente de la. Uh, Carrera, man, for winning that 4-0. Great win for them, man. Great result for them. Uh, next game is uh, Gostayo versus Toronto. Ah, Houston Dynamo. I believe Gostayo is um is a team from Guatemala. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know where they're from. Uh, but this game ended in a 1-0 win for Houston Dynamo, man. Not surprised by Houston winning this game. Uh, the Marcos Beasley, man. The Marcos Beasley has been around. This dude probably like 40 years old. And he's still st uh, still playing, man. So he were able to score the winning goal in this game. Uh, next games were CD Marathon versus Santos. That game ended in a six zero win for Santos, man. Santos look unbeatable, man. He probably should have scored more goals, man. But it should be a very interesting game in um in Mexico when they when they host uh Marathon, man. It should be a very interesting game. Uh, next we have is uh Pantoyo, Pantoyo, um. Versus the uh, New York Red Bulls. New York Red Bulls were able to win this game comfortable, winning a uh, two-zero win thanks to goal from Bradley Wright Phillip and um, Daniel Arroyo, man. So those two really uh, finish um, finish them off. Uh, next game we have was I believe uh, Sporting Kansas City. Sorry, let me get this up. Sorry about that fixture. So next game was uh, Alianza. FC versus uh, Monterey, man. Alianza is a team from El Salvador. And my money was on Monterey, man. Monterey has been phenomenal so far in the Liga MX. Clausura, uh, 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 I believe they're undefeated right now. Pretty much top of the league and looking very good. And, uh, yeah, man, uh, to get a draw versus uh, Alianza, man, I think that really defeat the purpose on 
of them being such a good team, man. I think they should have won this game, man. But it is what it is, man. They should be able to win the next game. I uh, should be able to. You never know what's going to happen. But, yeah, man. Uh, Monterey, 0-0 zero, zero with Alliance. Uh, next, we have Sporting Kansas City versus Toluca. I just did a reaction video for that game. Uh, that should be a very interesting game. And that was a very interesting game, man. Sporting Kansas City were able to win the 3-0. They look fantastic. Uh, Gerso, Gesso, Fernandez, whatever his name is, man. He was fantastic throughout the game. We were able to score. Uh, Christian Nemitz score. Ailey uh, Sanchez scored. And, uh, yeah, man. Sporting Kansas City looked very good. I think they're going to go through over Toluca. Toluca was just awful overall, man. Um, there was a poor finishing. Uh, they just didn't have that finishing touch, man. And they were able to lose this game 3-2 on the road to, uh, to uh, Spring Kansas City. The final game, man, and uh, crazy result. Uh, Club Sporting, Eridiano versus um, Atlanta United, man. Atlanta United, I thought, was like one of the best team in North America in general. Probably the best team in MLS. The best team in MLS. They just won MLS Cup. And, uh, yeah, man, they did horrible in this game, man. Losing the game 3-1 on the road to the team from costa rica and i don't know how they're going to come back from this man it's a possibility they could come back from this because they have a very good coach and they have a very good team overall man but uh they have to win the next game at least 2-0 or more and uh, it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be very interesting man but to win 3-1 versus atlanta united man that was a very good result for them and uh hopefully they take this win and go on the road in atlanta and at least get a draw or something for Game, man. But uh, that's my recap for the Kanker Cup Champions League, man. Let me know what you think about it so far, what games you want me to watch or react to, and leave a like, leave a comment, share this video. Let me know what team you support, man. Who you think gonna win, man? Let me know your prediction. And with that, you boys out of here.